I, I felt like we stepped it up in the third period, even in, in a way building, and that's what you have to do. So I mean, it's a playoff. So. Uh, I mean, not uh, not much to be completely honest with you. It, it happens sometimes in practice, but not specifically him and I. But um, no, he did a great job of pulling out in that play and giving the lane. And then I think it was Berkey in the middle um, did a great job of picking their D or um, whoever it was their forward and 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 opening up that lane. So. Um, credit to both of them. They uh, Val Val made a nice play and Berkey as well. You see, like the, when you're coming down the wall, you get squeezed by, and then I mean, there wasn't much space there. You know, what did you see? Yeah, uh, just knowing their system, um, I, I knew that there was going to be a guy open because once I beat my, they're mainly man to man. So once I beat my guy, something's going to open up. And uh, luckily, like I said, Val Val pulled off the back instead of me just driving to the net and. Uh, it worked out. The the guy came to me, and then they left Val wide open, and Berkey got the good pick there. So, how much does it help to get it over tonight as opposed to Monday or Wednesday or whatever? Yeah, I mean, um, you wanna anytime you get it a get a chance to end a team season, you you take that, um, you take it and run. Um, you try at least. So, for us um, tonight, like I said, there was a lot of ups and downs, but. We wanted this one, and I, I think just the resilience in general showed from our group and um, just through the night, yeah. What's it mean for you to be a, a Norris finalist again and then also to play the role you played in this series? Yeah, um, yeah, obviously very honored and stuff, and um, you have a unbelievable defenseman on the other side as well, Yossi, who I looked up to a lot um, growing up and and even, even throughout this entire year pushing me to be better, so um, – it's it's cool. That's not something that I that I really thought about. It was it's just in the background, and it's not um, individuals versus individuals and series wise. But um, for me, it's as long as I can help the team and contribute. I, it's not it's not about those individual points. Landy touched on that I think yesterday, the day before. But um, the wins are what matters, and that's all that uh, we care about right now. Sheldon, they take the lead in the building really into it. They seem like they have some juice. What's set on the bench for you guys to kind of yeah, the building was really great tonight um, up until the end there, and people were throwing Skittles at me during the play. So um, not too sure what the why, why, but yeah, no, the other than that, the fans were really loud tonight. Um, definitely, it definitely helped them. I felt like uh, momentum wise, and, and like I said, we just tried to weather it. And um, I feel like we got on our heels a little bit, um, whether it was the, the start of the third or kind of in the second there. but. Um, I like, like I said, I, we were resilient and we started coming back. Lanny said something to us on the bench. I think it was something about just getting skating and that next shift, we just went out there and started working. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It was just like, uh, in the last minute of the game there, I'm not too sure. It was just, they were just throwing stuff. They were throwing stuff over the glass before, obviously, um, not a fun way for your team to end a season like that, but, um, yeah, I was a couple skills were hitting me during the play. So. So I'm so I'm uh, before the face off on the ice, and then uh, they don't have Smarties in the states, I don't think. So they must be Skittles. They do have Smarties. Oh, they do have Smarties here. Okay, I've never seen them. So there you go. <laughs> Is that? I mean, that's kind of, kind of frustrating. Yeah, it's it is what it is. If they want to do that, that's fine. Like I said, they they have a great fan base here, and it was super loud tonight, and it showed right from puck drop. Um, I don't know who came out and was waving the banner around, but they was getting them pretty fired up. So. Um, they were fully behind them tonight, and it's awesome to see, and it's a lot of fun for us to play in buildings like that too, so credit to them. seems like the shock value of you guys, of them taking their first lead of the series there early in the third period, is that shock value somewhat important in terms of your team saying, we got to go now? Yeah, I mean, um, I think like I touched on, Landy came to the bench after that and said we got to get going, and it really gave us kind of a, a kick, kick in the – Okay, the ass, but excuse my language, but um, yeah, no, uh, tough play on that one. I just, I was kind of stuck out there and tried to dive and didn't get it. And um, yeah, they made a good play, but yeah, it was uh, definitely like you touched on. I think it was the energy definitely rejuvenated our group. Yeah, I mean, you enjoy it, enjoy it quickly um, and even touched in the room after this. This is just step one. So um, 
you, you enjoy it for a little bit, but then you move on. Obviously, we don't know who our opponent is yet, um, but uh, it's going to be a familiar a familiar team. So for us, it's it's already to that next that next step, and um, we're where we want it to be. But we have to make sure that we can stay tight throughout this uh, little break we have here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it didn't didn't really cross my mind until right now, but um, yeah, it's like I said, this was step one. The next step is step two. So um, you take it game by game. You, you you the only thing you can control is yourself. So um, that's that's all we can focus on and. Um, we, we know we have the group of guys in that room to, to make a run. And it's just, like I said, it's game by game. We're not going to think about it like that. And, um, that's how we thought about it in this series. And hopefully we can continue that way on the mental side of things. No, so I was sitting down on the bench and then the guys got up and, uh, and cheered. And then I figured, that it didn't go in because they kept playing. And then um, we were apparently they were watching on the bench and it showed that they, that it went in. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if they were looking at it, they probably should have stopped it. I think that's usually the protocol, but maybe they didn't know. So. Yeah, no, I just, I said, he's a, he's an unbelievable player. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I looked up to him a lot and um, he pushed me a lot this season and um, he had one incredible year. So uh, credit to him. That's for sure. All right, thanks, Kevin. Thank you. We're just thinking about your hat the whole time. Uh, I like it. No problem. Uh, it was just keep pushing. Um, you know, we, we've been down a lot this season. We've come back a lot as well. So we're excited to have a good challenge. I mean, we were feeling good. Um, great play by to EJ to get it to Taser and what a shot. And then kind of rolled from there, kind of took over. So um, nice to get a comeback win. How much does it help to get it over with tonight? Yeah, it's nice. We, we got some guys banged up, need some rest. So give Kemp's a couple of days off, um, heal up, got some guys with uh, some stuff like every other team. So we'll take advantage of it. Hey, I'm just reading the tweet here from Pete about Makar and his 10 points in the first quarter of the playoffs. His most for the defense is all top of the Maple Leaf goal. What can you say about that guy and how he's performed in this series? Yeah, I mean, he he might be the best player in the league right now. Um, the way he dominates from the back end is amazing um, all season. But, you know, this playoffs, he's, he's taken another step with his leadership in the room, um, being more vocal. And obviously on the ice, he's, he's so dominant. Um, you know, he, he might be one of the best to ever play by the end of his career at this rate. So really excited to have him on our team, obviously. Um, but we got to forget about the series. Brand new um, next round against St. Louis or Mini. Um, yeah, we're excited for the challenge. So obviously with Kale, he's going to lead us back there. We can see how skilled he is when they asked him about the Shushkin goal. He was like, well, their system, I can't even repeat what he said, but he processed like their system and how the Shushkin was going to be open. Can you just describe how smart he is? Yeah. Um, you know, when whenever someone comes out, comes at him like that, uh, He's going to juke them and, and get around them either way. Uh, and great, great play by Val as well to, to find that space. You know, a lot of guys stay at the net and, you know, it's a good, never bad play to be at the net, but he pulled away because we already had a guy there and amazing pass. You know, Kale's got amazing vision, sees everything. Um, so great play uh, all around for sure. Kale seemed to be with some stuff as the game kind of wound down from fans. Did you get to play anything? No, I didn't. Did you see Andre's goal go in? Like, did you know what was happening? Uh, yeah, we thought it went in, and then we saw a replay that it did go in. We we're just confused on why the, the league didn't whistle it down. They're, they're supposed to blow it down, so we we're a little nervous. We started second guessing ourselves, but we saw it hit the back bar. But um, yeah, weird play. Um, it went through, or did it bounce back out? I think it went through the back. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't see that. No, no, okay, yeah, he's got a heavy shot. So. Yeah. Nate, did it help this year to have so many solid come from behind wins to, to sort of put that in the bank for tonight that you could you guys could recall and you could feed off that? Yeah, I mean, as well as all series, we're all playing them. Um, 
you know, they had a good game tonight. I felt like we didn't have a great one, um, but that's going to happen eventually. Um, but we found a way. I think that's the key. You can't always win when you have your best. You got to find ways when, when you're not. And tonight was one of those cases. And um, we just know with all the skill and talent we have that, you know, we were going to get one uh, some way. A lot of good looks. Um, and we, we eventually got a few, so it was nice. Does it feel to you guys like there's a, you can notice the amount of step you've taken in kind of the mental maturity side of the game as a group? Um, yeah, I, I think every every year there's some more experience, uh, especially last year against Vegas. You know, we have a, a lot deeper team this year, and also everyone we brought in has experience, and everyone that's back has another year under their belt. Um, but we got to go perform next series. Uh, we got to go get it and um, stay assertive and confident. And we can't lose our way like last year. So, um, but I mean, it's a different team we had. We're playing a different team this year. So it's a fun challenge and it's not going to be easy. Um, that's why it's uh, the hardest trophy to win. How much of a benefit is the extra rest that you guys played? Yeah, it's huge. I think, um, you know, even with last year, we got a 2 0 lead in that series with a week off or whatever after the sweep. Um, so it's always good. Like I said, we got get some guys with stuff and it'd be good uh, to get some rest. What, what's your routine with, with a couple of days off? Or you're in a typical type of routine. What's your personal routine? Uh, probably play some video games, hang out. Uh, yeah, see my dogs. <laughs> yeah. dogs? Uh, my parents do. So, yeah. Maybe one or two more. <coughs> good. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Second straight first round sweep. Um, gonna be happy. Yeah, I thought. Um, I mean, really good focus throughout the series. Pretty good consistency. This was uh, our toughest game for sure. Um, you know, made a few mistakes that they capitalized on, but you know, again, good resilience from our group to stick with it in the third period. We got a little better. You know, after we went down, we started to you know, start making plays again and, and using our skating and we were able to grind out a win on the road and tough building, good team, you know, all around positive uh, experience for our guys. It helps a lot. Yeah. It helps a lot. How? Well, the big thing is now we can take a breath, get a couple of days off for our guys give them some rest and we'll still get some real good practice time before we get ready for our next opponent. Well, it was huge. The whole series. Um, you look at, look at a few of the plays he made tonight. It was tough generating scoring chances. I felt like he was in on almost all the scoring chances we had. Um, and catches a breakaway on the one, makes a few nice plays in the first and then the second to create scoring chances, and then he sticks with it. He's real strong on the wall on the on the Nachushkin goal. I mean, yeah, I mean he was everywhere, made an impact both on the defensive side of things and on the offensive side. He just you know hasn't hasn't let up. He just keeps getting better and better. It's kind of a high pressure situation for Paulo Francis to step in. What do you think of him tonight? I thought he was good. Yeah, I thought he was good. That's some. I'm sure that was if I once I break down the the video that that'll be the game we gave up the most scoring chances in. Um, some high quality looks. We had a couple bad line changes that led to odd man rushes. I think they scored. Well, they scored two goals on on poor line changes from us. So mental mistakes from us. But Frankie, um, yeah, I thought he I thought he looked pretty good tonight. And like you said, he hasn't hasn't played a lot of hockey for us. He gets in the game the other night, does a nice job, comes back in again tonight and finishes the job. So good on him. It feels like you guys put some money in the bank this year because you had so many conference guy wins and you were tested a lot in the regular season. Do you think that played a factor in tonight to just, you know, understand that this is no big deal, we can do this? Yeah, I think there was a confidence in our group that we could do it. I think our guys understood that we just weren't skating. Um, you know, in some of our breakouts, we made some plays and had some ice to take. We didn't take it. We threw the puck back to him, even if it was into the neutral zone. So we spent a little more time in there than I would have liked to. I thought they did a nice job in their four check with their deep pinching and, and keeping pucks alive. Um, and then once we kind of went down, you know, that was the talk on our bench that we needed to keep making plays and, and, and using, they're taking the ice that was available to us to let some breakouts set up and, um, 
you know, get a little bit more skill in our game. And, and, and we did that. And, you know, it was the right message, I think, to our guys coming from the coaching staff, the leaders, um, that you'd kind of feel our, our bench come alive a little bit once we went down in the third, which is a positive sign. Two-part question, but did you see the puck go in on Burkowski's goal? And if you ever see the puck just go straight in the third, yeah, we, we, we had a good look at it right away. Uh, Brett pulled up a replay, so we knew it was. We were kind of yelling at the refs from the bench, but they were going to let it play till the first stoppage. And yeah, I mean, I, you, you see it quite often, actually, puck going through the net more than you think. In 2017, after your first year with the Avs, Matthew Shane did not want to be a part of this team. He did not believe in the team. He probably didn't believe in you after a series like this against them does it just kind of reinforce the fact that you believed in yourself and it's too bad that you didn't back then I, I don't know like there he had a history with the club before I got here and um you know there was a, there was a major changing of the guard when I came in you know after my year there was I think we had 12 players on expiring contracts um older group the direction was going to be young and the leadership was going to get turned over to guys like Mac, Miko, um, Landy, and, and they were going to have a bigger voice and a bigger role on our team. And we kind of started that that year when we were struggling and, and um, you know, that was the focus. That was the directive I got from Joe at the time is make sure you're spending time with those guys and we start playing the right way and that everyone kind of knows where we're going. And the, you know, the turnaround happened quick because of all the guys that Joe brought in the second year. They found really good players, young guys, speedy guys, skilled guys. Um, and it was young and it was fun and there was no pressure. And now we've kind of built it into a team that, you know, there's pressure on us every night to win. And that's the way we want it, you know. So uh, I never I, I, to, to me, there's still a business side of the game, you know, like you, you players want to move on for different reasons. I, I don't ever take it personal and, and I don't think it should be, you know, he needed a change of scenery and um, he's had a couple and now he's found a home here in Nashville and he had a great season. So, I mean, it's the, you know, that's, there's personal decisions to be made and even though it's within a team game and um, yeah, so we moved on and so is he. So you use the words resilient earlier. Is that how you maybe describe it? It feels like that was the theme of the entire series when you talk about the game two over time. Did we start the game three? Is that how you describe it? How much does that mean? How it yeah, I mean, adversity is never a bad thing if you're if you're overcoming it and finding ways to keep playing your game. You're not you're not going to win them all, but you want to make sure your team's fighting hard and. Um, you know, pushing themselves to overcome whatever obstacles are in their way. We had a few in this series and guys continued to play and play well. So I like that's a that's a positive sign for our team. And um, it's one word to describe our team in this series. You know, I thought we were pretty consistent in what we did. We stayed assertive and um, tried to play to our identity every night. And this one was probably the toughest one and the, and the worst one or the one that we face the most adversity within the game in. Um, I think, you know, so, but I, I thought our guys did a nice job kind of sticking with it and finding a way to win the hockey game. Coach, uh, what word for his goal in the third period was his first point of the series. That's something you guys specifically talked about, drilling down and make sure you stay on top of it. Yep. No question. I mean, that, that line is a really dangerous line. Um, you know, they had them together for a while. They split them up for a while and I'm sure just kind of looking for a spark and, but they kept bouncing them back together in ozone situations and key times in the game. And I mean, you, you got two guys there in Deshane and Forsberg that both scored 40 plus and a real good centerman in Grandland in there. So the awareness of when they're on the ice and managing the puck properly and make sure you're digging in on your checking habits is, is a key to it for sure. And, you know, when you have Taze and Makar out there against them as much as you possibly can, that really helps. Last one, Peter. Yeah, with Andre Burkowski, I think that was his first 30 points of the series. What did you just think of his play in general? I know he's someone you described as streaky. How do you think he's kind of coming home? Well, I mean, you're hoping it's going to carry over, but I just think for him, there's a 
there was a heightened determination in his game in the playoffs so far. Loved his game one. Game two was probably a little dip from game one, but it's in, in game three and game four, he was excellent. A huge difference maker for us tonight in our lineup. So hopefully he can get some confidence out of that and keep it going for round two. Thanks, Jerry. Yep, thank you. Thanks,